Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, also known as NAFLD, is the most common liver disease in Canada, affecting approximately 20% of the population. That's roughly 8 million Canadians. NAFLD is an umbrella term consisting of a spectrum of diseases. NAFLD ranges in severity from mild fatty liver to more serious conditions that present with inflammation, scarring, and permanent damage to liver function. The most common cause of NAFLD in Canada is obesity. Other causes include bypass surgery, starvation or malnutrition, genetic factors, and sometimes drugs and chemicals. Approximately 30% of Canadian adults, about 7.3 million, reported a body mass index that classified them as either overweight or obese. It is also estimated that 1 in 10 Canadian children is overweight, a number that has almost tripled in the last decade. NAFLD is also strongly associated with other health complications such as high blood pressure, diabetes, and high cholesterol, all of which increase the risk of many chronic illnesses. NAFLD typically develops when a person consumes more sugar and fat than their body can handle. Sugar and fat from a person's diet are usually broken down by the liver and other tissues. If the amount of simple sugar or fat intake exceeds what is required by the body, the sugars and fat from foods are converted to fat in the liver and stored as fatty tissue. This production of fat in the liver is unrelated to alcohol or viral causes. Many people don't know they have NAFLD, leading to its reputation as a silent disease. It usually does not cause pain or other symptoms. However, some people do report nonspecific symptoms such as discomfort in the abdomen at the level of the liver, fatigue, a feeling of being unwell, and vague discomfort. Often, it's not until the disease has progressed to a more serious stage when the symptoms begin to appear. If NAVLD is left untreated, patients are at risk of developing non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, also known as NASH. This can lead to scarring of the liver, called fibrosis, and could progress to permanent damage of the liver, called cirrhosis. Your healthcare professional can conduct a blood test to help look for NAFLD. This test looks at various liver enzymes, which could serve as indicators of damage to the liver. If NAFLD is presumed, a diagnosis can be made with imaging studies such as a fiber scan, CT scan, or an MRI to examine the presence of fat in the liver. For more information on NAFLD, please visit liver.ca slash NAFLD.